and uh, thank you for inviting me to such a great event and uh, giving me an opportunity to talk myself. So today I will talk about uh, uh, QPAC, uh, which is a community my company is leading. And so I will talk about the background of QPAC and also my personal experience behind that. So first of all, uh, I want to, okay, I will talk uh, a bit uh, about myself. So I, as Dennis said, uh, mentioned, uh, I am uh, uh, I'm working as a CEO currently at Kinesis and Kinesis is a quantum software startup, which uh, strongly works on the quantum chemistry on quantum computer. And uh, uh, currently we have nine people and uh, I'm uh, working as CEO and heading a business development and ecosystem development there. And uh, before joining Kinesis, uh, uh, so uh, in 2013, uh, I got a PhD in material engineering, and, but uh, I decided to go to consulting firm because uh, at that time, I was more interested in, in the business side, taking advantage of new technology, and uh, decided to join the consulting firm, firm called Asa Digital, who is uh, strongly for, who has a strong strong focus on linking between management and technology. And during that period uh, in the consulting firm, uh, I was mainly involved in projects about R and D strategy development and innovation management. And uh, especially I was closely working with a, a company in chemical or material industry. And then uh, I met this quantum technology in the project. And uh, I started talking with uh, Kinesis and uh, about one year ago, I decided to join Kinesis as you all. And uh, what I focus on here is mainly I'm developing a community to work on the application uh, development for quantum computing. So as you can see, uh, the, uh, the, the members are from the major uh, members are the major Japanese companies, and uh, we basically work on the skill. Uh, sorry, it's uh, part of this uh, in Japanese, but uh, we basically work on the, uh, the learning and also the small application development with members. And why I focus on QPAC? So this it is the main reason why I decided to join Kinesis. So when I uh, talked with uh, the, the Kinesis CEO Yanson, uh, when I was in consulting firm, uh, he said uh, he wants to develop a community to educate potential customer because otherwise we cannot start the communication with them and start the business with them. So I, I thought it, it it is interesting, and uh, actually I thought it uh, more than. Um, more than in, more more interested than Yansa expected. So I, I thought it, it's really important for quantum technology to expand uh, uh, for quantum technology to have some community or ecosystem to develop. So uh, I, I think uh, that the community could be the core of the ecosystem. So uh, I was uh, I got interested in and decided to join Kinesis and do uh, do that by myself. And uh, the, behind that, uh, when I was in consulting firm, I did a lot of case study about the innovation. And uh, I realized that innovation's golden rule has been changing. So in 80, uh, 1980 or uh, 1990, innovation is just about a single huge improvement for a single product. But now it's changing. So it, now it's about a big game change for society. So to make it happen, uh, we need to develop ecosystem. So <clears throat> like this uh, the picture, uh, image, uh, we need to involve the whole the stakeholder and the users into the community and uh, develop the ecosystem. Uh, de developing the ecosystem is a key to, to be successful in uh, expanding the technology. So that uh, I realized when I was in consulting firm and I, did, uh, I want to do that by myself uh, in at Kinesis. And uh, so what we aimed in starting QPAC, uh, so we really, uh, we, we really want to make it happen. So we decided to focus on three things. So first of all, uh, we want to, yeah, uh, we, we decided to focus on world's fast applications. So not like uh, networking or lecturing. Uh, of course we did that, but uh, we, we also wanted to focus on the, uh, the to develop fast application for quantum computing. 
And to do that, uh, we need a realistic discussion based on right understanding of the technology. So we decided to offer the uh, academic uh, series of lecture to the members. And on the other hand, we also wanted to uh, focus on actual hands-on experience to understand the technology deeply and, uh, and uh, get get clear picture of the technology. So and uh, so the so that the, and so we offer the opportunity uh, for the members to to try the uh, state of the state of the algorithm and related method on simulator. So that's uh, basically what we focused at QPark. And uh, so so throughout this year, so from the May to the this. Uh, December, we basically did uh, three courses. So the one is a basic course from July, and the uh, other is the uh, advanced course to to work on the hands-on experience from the October. And in parallel, we also offer the uh, activity to do the joint research with advanced companies. So these are the basic, uh, basically what we did. And uh, in in the each program, uh, the, so program consists of the lecture and the exercise and the group work. So in the lecture, we invited lots of academia and also the guests from the industry like Google or Amazon. And we did the uh, exercise on the simulator and we also uh, lot, allocate lots of time on the group work to discuss the roadmap and also to work on small demonstration. So these are the example. So the, in a lecture, we cover basic theory. So you can, so it, part of it's uh, Japanese, but uh, you can see that uh, it's it covering the really deep technology area. And also we did the group work and we did the discussion and we uh, made some roadmap. So th this is an example for the hardware roadmap. So we, we discussed how we develop this technology uh, with the members in, Q, in, in QPark. And uh, so we sometimes had a cocktail party with members. So the, uh, unfortunately, the, because of COVID-19, uh, it was all online, but uh, we had uh, some cocktail party online. And uh, uh, so you can see the lots of people from industries are joining. And uh, <laughs> most of them are quantum chemistry experts. So, so it, I think it's uh, really wonderful to have them all, in all, all, all this program. Yep, and uh, we got some feedback from the members. So a lot of feedback actually. So the, some members said it was a fun to have this community, and uh, it was a really a good opportunity to communicate with people outside their company. And uh, the other member said we will keep engaging next year, and uh, also the other member said we expect more activities at QBAC. So so we got a lot of uh, the great positive feedback, and we decided to continue the, this community activity activity next year and also the next and the year after next so the, what was the key outcome of the activity so uh, I think it uh, it comes down to the one uh, one fact so we got a real community to work on the technology so I think uh, there is a lot of community around the quantum technology but there is not so much uh, so many uh, community to work on real uh, application development and so that that is the one thing that uh, I think uh, uh, that great about QPark and uh, and surprisingly it uh, starts growing almost automatically so uh, at the initial phase uh, it, it's just the idea between the young son and me but uh, it, it uh, attracts more people and after that uh, attracts more and more people from the industry and also attracts the people from the government or investors or the uh, community outside Japan. So we have started talking with the other communities and also we have started, we are invited to the government discussion how to develop the, this technology and how, how to make it happen. Okay, so that, that is, uh, I think that was uh, uh, that this year's, oh, sorry. And this is the outcome. And uh, so at the, the end of the uh, presentation, uh, I want to mention about the lessons learned uh, from this uh, experience, from this personal experience. So I learned, uh, first of all, I learned uh, the importance of starting anyway. 
So as a consultant, I know the importance of strategy, uh, but uh, it, it's not all. So you, especially in uh, developing a new technology, you will never know uh, what is the best way to do. So so first we you start uh, something and get feedback, and then we can shape the uh, the shape the things. So that is the one thing I learned, and the other is the 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 power of community is more than expected. So uh, the, at the initial stage, it's just about uh, education and application development. But uh, after we develop the community, uh, the people start uh, communicating and also learn from each other and uh, also propose uh, some uh, interesting application. So it, it's really surprising for me. And I realized that in achieving a big things like quantum, uh, having this kind of community definitely help you. So that is, a, yeah, one, uh, the other lessons learned. And uh, so this is a, uh, the uh, presentation in uh, Women in, Con in Quantum. Uh, I also uh, want to mention about the lessons learned as a woman. So but it's obvious, uh, but, uh, but uh, yeah, I realized, I did realize again that, uh, that we are good at, so women are good at avoiding unnecessary battle and uh, harmonizing. So, and it is our strength. So in developing community, the, the, this, uh, this personality was really important, I think. And, but I, I'm not a uh, kind of person who is, uh, who is at the center of the community. I'm more like a uh, support. A lot more like a person who likes supporting. So partnering with people who have almost opposite personality. So in my case, uh, the CEO Yansan is uh, almost opposite, has an almost opposite personality. And uh, so the par partnering with him uh, is a was a really good and uh, it, it it enhanced the, my strengths. So I think these two points are really important in community management. And uh, I think uh, the community management will be will getting more and more important in future. So that means uh, that there, are, there will be a more and more uh, room for women to take advantage of their strengths. And I think uh, women in quantum is a one fantastic example. And I really appreciate uh, that the Dennis is doing here. And uh, I want to see, I want to see more more community we develop, and uh, want to see that more women uh, uh, will lead that community. Okay, so that's the end of my my presentation. Thank you.